Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make a sleep mask. And I got this pattern from this website right here. And you just type in that and just type in sleep mask and it will tell you everything you need to know. Now it did say 15 inches of elastic. So I'm going to put that on there just so I have it on the pattern. So I've cut out two different fabrics and a piece of interfacing. Well, it's iron to it, so I can't really, I thought I could get the edge apart to show you, but I used iron on because I found it to be easier. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay this down. We're going to lay it down as best we can, and we're going to pin the elastic right there to it. And then we're going to do the same for this side. I pre-cut these because, well, it's just tracing and cutting. And if you would like me to add that step, please let me know next time I can. So we're going to add this here. This one's a pretty basic pattern. You just put the pieces together and sew around them. Um, you do have to leave a little space at the top open. So now we're just going to line this up also. And we are going to, actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do first. I'm going to run to, or go to the sewing machine and run a stitch down that to tack it. Just so I don't have to have those pins in there when I'm lining them up. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Down that. Got a little extra threads there. I couldn't really use my starter. Well, I could have, but it would have been awkward. So I didn't trim off the threads. Now we are going to lay this, fold this in, see if we can get it to lay there. I'm going to use a clip if I can find it. We're just going to clip it there so it stays flat. Now we're going to line this up and I like to line this up at the bottom first at that little notch because you want those to match up. And then I just work my way out, making sure that it lines up. Let me bring this over here. I designed this pin cushion, you guys. I was making pillowcases for my kids, and I thought, wouldn't that just be the cutest? Because then you can hook these clips. You can hook these clips right on there. Which I do sometimes. I don't use the clips a lot with uh, little things. Because they get in the way when you're doing little things. Right, we're going to mark it right about here. She does, does put the little things on there for you. If you want to go by those. But really you just need a wide enough spot that you can turn it through. So then actually when I get to there I go back down to here and start coming out again. Making sure to stay lined up. Pin on both sides of the elastic. I did it on the other side too. And then we'll go right to about there. I'm going to leave about that much open. So I'm going to sew this up and I'll be right back to show you what I've got. I've done that. Now, again, I didn't really use a starter and stopper because we're starting in the middle of it. Now, you do want to, and I did, backstitch on those because they're going to have a lot of pressure that you're turning it through. Now, you could take scissors and you could just trim around here. Because if you don't trim, it won't lay as flat as it could. Me, I'm going to use these pinking shears. But if you don't have them, please don't go out and buy them just because for one project. If you are going to be using them, I do recommend them. But don't buy them for just one project. They're pretty expensive. They're like $20 or so. And you don't, you could just clip through there. I mean, I like mine, but I use mine a lot. I didn't in the beginning. I did just clip. 
a little harder going over that elastic. Now the elastic's been sewn in there twice now. So we got two stitches over it, right? Because we did the first one. And then let me get that elastic out. I don't want that in my in my pillow. Well, I only see one piece of it. I don't know. I know I cut two, but oh, there it is. I don't want that in my pillow. So we're just going to throw that away. So now you're going to open it up there. And I left a pretty good opening. You don't want to be struggling to pull it through. Now if I clip that. So I can pull the clip out. And it will pull this out pretty easily. And then you can just pull the elastic. I'm going to let that clip go. And I'm going to take my little chopstick here. And we're just going to go around the edge. It, well, this isn't really that chopstick. You know what this is? This is the middle piece to my purple turner. I don't know what that's called. But it turns the seams. And if you push, you got to push that out a little bit first. And then just go to the elastic and you can just kind of slide it down. I never get a perfect circle. I never do. It doesn't even phase me anymore. But, you know, it still blocks the sun out of my eyes either way. So then we're going to take our pressing mat. And we are going to, we're going to top stitch this. So we're going to press it. Hmm. We're going to get all our seams out and then we're going to press it so the colors don't show through too much on the other side. I say too much because there's no way I'm going to be perfect at it. And we'll press this in. See, this side's good, but... When you go to the other one, you can see a little bit of the red. I'll have to pop this over. Now you could do it like that and it'll work just the same, really. Don't, don't fuss over it. But you could also work with it a little bit. And it'll, it'll photo fold, fold. I don't know what that was. I promise nobody's gonna nobody's gonna see it so who's gonna complain and if your spouse complains tell them see how well they can do all right so that's as good for me as good as it's gonna get so then see this side's good and this side you can see a little bit but who cares so we're going to take it back to the sewing machine and we're just going to top stitch real close to the edge as we can. real cl As close to the edge as we can. Not real close to the edge. Ignore me. All right, I'm going to do that and I'll be back and show you what we got. Done. Okay, so I'll show you a couple things I did. On the elastic, I did go forward. And back and forward again because you're going to be putting a little bit of pressure on that. I mean, not a lot. I mean, unless, you know, whatever. Um, you could also measure it and make sure it's going to fit your head before you sew it. So, anyways, there you have it. Um, I also here, oh, that's what I was going to show you. Like here, I went a little too far out. I mean, not necessarily, but I wanted it closer. So I went back and closed. See, my stitches are not perfect. And if yours are, that's great for you. Honestly, I'm happy for you, but I'm not all that worried about it. So you have a, a reversible sleep mask. So the sun can no longer bother you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next video.